In this video, we're going to adjust the temperature and temperature bar by creating actions that call Lua functions. We're going to press the plus and minus buttons that make the temperature go up and down, and our Lua functions are going to set new states for the variables on these temperature controls. Let's start off by adding a variable to the text control. I'm just going to, on the right, click Add New Variable. I'm going to name it Text. And when I hit Finish, you can see that it's been added to my application model for that control. So now I've got a text string variable, and we're ready to set up our action. So on Press, let's call a Lua script, and we'll name this function cb underscore temp underscore up. And when I hit Finish in my Actions view, there's a press event that calls the Lua script for our function. Now, if I hit edit for that function, since it doesn't exist, we're being asked if we want to create it. So you hit yes, and a Lua file has been added to our scripts folder, and we're ready to start writing our function. So let's start off with setting up a global variable that says that the temperature is 20. So local temp equals 20. Now, in our function, I'm going to set up an empty table, and this is going to store the new state for uh, the temperature when we change it and this value is going to be temp equals temp plus one because we want it to go up and so the new state on that variable we want to have it associated with the variable that we just created on that text control so if I go back to my application model for that text string variable I can go edit copy path and now I can paste that into my code and here I've got the path to the text string variable that we just added to our project. So here we need to say that it's equal to temp and now we need to set that data. So on the next line we do that with jiri.set underscore data and brackets data and now our function is complete. So if I select this entire function for CB temp up and copy it I can then go down and paste it again. I can change the plus to a minus and change the word up to down and this can be the function for making the temperature go down. So I'll save this and I'll go back into storyboard here. Now if I select the plus control and go into the actions view, I can copy the action that calls the Lua script and then on the minus control I can paste that same action to that control. Then all I have to do is just change the function name from CB temp up to CB temp down. Now both are calling two different functions and we're ready to simulate and just see how everything's working so far. So I'll save, simulate, and the temperature goes down and the temperature goes up. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is adjust this temperature bar and it changes its appearance by adjusting the width. Let's take a closer look at the width for this temperature bar. Right now it's 312, which is full. If I put it to half, you can see it's half full and one dash is 12 pixels wide. Now let's write a function that adjusts the width of that temperature bar. So function, this is going to be the name of our new function, set underscore bar underscore temp for the current temp. And again we'll start off with an empty table and let's add some more global variables. With that temperature scale, the minimum temperature is going to work out to be 8 and then the max temp is going to go up to 35 then we already saw that the dash width is going to be 12 so local dash width equals 12 now back to our function for adjusting the temperature bar width we're going to write local width equals and here we're going to take the temp and subtract the minimum temp which is 8 and that value is going to get multiplied by the dash width which is 12. So now that needs to be assigned to the variable for the temperature bar width. So data, and if I go back into storyboard, I can right click on the temperature bar and go edit, copy path, then take that, paste it back in, and this is just a path to the control. I need to add the variable, which is dot grd underscore width, and now that's going to be associated with the width that we just calculated above and we need to set that value so gre dot set underscore data so now set bar temp is good to go and we need to call this function every time we change the temperature we also need to call it 
as soon as we start the application. So let's write another function, cb underscore temp init, and this is going to get called as soon as we get to that temperature screen. So here, this function is just going to call the function for set bar temp, and we'll close it. And let's just copy that line, and we'll paste it into the end of the temp up and temp down functions that we've written. So save our file, we'll go back into storyboard, and what we need to do is on our home screen, we're going to set up an action. In the trigger event, I'm going to put in screen, and what I'm looking for is screen show pre, which is before the screen shows, we are going to call the Lewis script. So we'll put in Lewis script, and we're looking for the function for CB temp init and that is going to set the bar width. So let's simulate and save, and our bar width should load at about halfway across, which it does, and it moves down and up when we adjust the temperature down and up. Perfect. So in our next video, I'm going to show you how to use the internationalization feature. We're going to adjust Monday to Friday from one language to another, French and German. In this video, we've learned how to add a variable as a text string variable, and we've created and edited Lua functions. We're able to copy path to a control into our code, and we're also using the screen show as a trigger event. Working with Lua is an important step when it comes to developing your application, and we're going to use Lua some more when we set up our app with internationalization in our next video. Thanks for watching.